Do you want to know how amazing people connect? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome to Marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. like what you hear, please share. Special shout out to our sponsors, Haugen's Galleries and Terry Woodledge Farmers Agency. For more information on Haugen's Galleries and their great personal branding photography, go to haugensgalleries.com. And for more information on Terry Whitledge Farmers Agency and their insurance services, call her at 541-258-3995. Ta-da! Here I am, marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. Oh my goodness, it is a crazy Thursday. You know what? I I just got to say it. You know, this morning I'm reading in my time of uh, just prayer and meditation, and I'm reading the scripture, and it's talking about how God sometimes prunes us to make us better, right? Cuts off the bad stuff, prunes the good things in your life to make you better. And you know what? kind of feel like that's happening right now because of everything going on. But I think life is amazing. I think life is awesome. I choose that every morning. And I am so glad that you're here with me today on Marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. As you can tell, I am remote again in a great, great uh, blessing of a friend and customer's office uh, and about, in a town about 30 miles south of where I, I live and where my home office is. To have this wonderful morning with our guest, who we're still trying to coordinate and make sure that's all working because we're having technological difficulties this morning. But you know what? I have, I just have hope and I have confidence it's all going to come together. So, anyway, uh, I just want to remind you my name is Russ Hedge. I am your marketing coach. I'm a, I'm a keynote speaker. I am a live streamer and live stream producer. I bet you didn't guess that part. I love live streaming. I love coming on with all of you this morning and uh, man, or whatever time of day it is for you. I just, I just love this medium that we had. I had a wonderful chat with Biliana in Bulgaria this morning before I jumped on live with all of you. I love the fact that I can talk to people all of the, over the world and create amazing friendships and connections. You know, I always joke with people that when we initially connect, they're stuck with me. I'm a lifetime connector. And, you know, when you do that, you become my friend and you become a lifetime connection for me. I love to continue these conversations. To me, connection is not just about saying hi. Connection is all about a discussion, ongoing, uh, learning about each other, growing in this life together. I'm blessed with a wonderful family. I'm blessed with so many great friends. And so I just want to thank all of you today. You know, and so while we're getting going here, while we're waiting for things to get moving along, I want to tell you a few things. First of all, I'm here every Monday and Thursday, marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. You know, this morning might be a great time to tell you the story once again for those of you who've never heard it. Uh, how did the hashtag Russ Selfie come to be? Well, you know, we have these these wonderful, uh, great devices, right? And uh, these cell phones, and uh, I have like 
kind of squeezed down. So my wallet is part of my cell phone and all that. My son minimized me or uh, minimalized me. There you go. So my wallet and my phone are one. Anyway, I used to always hand my camera to people um, to have them take pictures of our family. So this is years ago, and I'm I'm horrible at selfies. We're in New York City. I hand my phone to a gentleman in the subway in New York City, take a picture of our family, only to realize I gave him all my cash, my credit cards, everything, and just handed it to him. And as I step back, I'm praying, dear God, please let him take the picture and give it back to me, <laughs> which thank God he did. And so I got that back, but I realized I can't do that anymore. I can't hand my wallet over to people. So um, so I had to learn how to take selfies, started taking them at networking events. People loved it. They dove in. They, we had so much fun. It was a great connection tool. And I learned that it will just speed up that connection tenfold. So I started doing more and more and more. And before you know it, someone says to me, you got to have a hashtag. So the hashtag Russ Selfie was born. Ta-da! That's where it all came from. So and as you can tell, if you look at my social media, I still love hashtag Russ selfies and I still take them over and over and over. So, so anyway, hopefully the connection is good today. Give me a shout out if there's any issues with the connection with me because I had a little issue here at the office I'm at. Having to use my phone as a hotspot this morning. Wonderful and thankful for technology that I can even do that. So really, really happy for that. Um, I am going to take a quick check on our guest who is probably trying to message me right now. Um, and unfortunately, she still hasn't made it in yet, uh, but we are going to continue on this morning because I have faith she's going to make it. I have faith she's going to make it. So, hey, we have all kinds of people here this morning. So we are going to say hello. All right, Noopy. Hello, Noopy from over in Manchester, England. Emily is with us this morning. Thank you, Emily. You know, I have so many great Great supporters. Alex, man, I hope you're feeling great. Tuning in from Ohio. Um, and uh, yeah, and Emily, by the way, I meant to say Emily is back in Virginia. And I hope I got that right. And um, Noopy is just an amazing person and a doctor, as is Alex. Dr. Joseph. Woohoo! Great to see you this morning, Joseph. Thank you so much. Joseph is in the house. Come on. Come on, Chris Stone, the man. You know, I learned so much from Chris. I am just like a novice and a beginner compared to that man. So I appreciate that. Everybody's saying hi to each other. Yes. Hashtag 1000. Thanks. You know, we started that back in around Thanksgiving. And it came out of the Experience Live with Russ and Scott, my Wednesday show. And uh, people picked that up, blew up on social media. And everything is great. Thanks, Alex. Glad. Uh, that you can hear and see me. That's a good thing. So just clicking through a few of the uh, comments here as we are moving along. You know, Thursdays are a fabulous day. I have all kinds of in-person meetings today, but also have uh, online meetings as well. So I get to do a combination of that from the area that I am in. And um, I just am thankful for technology and being able to do that. My good friend, Mr. Ray Davis. Yes. Ray Davis, thank you for checking in and saying hi, Ray. Love you, man. Everybody, uh, I didn't say Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. I clicked right by your comment. Um, and we have so many people just commenting. Mr. Michael Holt is in the house. You are a blessing, Michael. Thank you. You know, really, I'm telling you, my goal is to inspire and encourage you to live a purpose driven life of significance. So, what does that mean? I want you to be a difference maker. I want you to be a world changer. I want you to use the gifts that God has given you to do amazing things because you have amazing in you. Uh, like my friend Charlene Brown, who is amazing. Talk about uh, a live stream queen. She is the live stream queen. And soon, right behind her, Noopy, we're going to get her on. She's going to be amazing. Alex is doing amazing things online. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It is so great to have you all here. And, okay, so I'm clicking through the comments. I'm going to pause for a moment. So I have some great stuff coming up. I want to tell you something else here while while we are waiting for things to happen. By the way, uh, Lejia Hernandez is my guest this morning. She's an amazing person. And um, sometimes technology 
uh, gives us a little hiccup. <laughs> and so, you know, who knows? Hard to say. Um, but I'm thinking uh, some reason our connection with StreamYard is not working too well. Um, but hopefully she'll keep trying and we'll get her in shortly. But I want to tell you about um, I want to tell you about a workshop I have coming up. You ready? Okay, here we go. So the workshop I have coming up is uh, called Successfully Transform Your Business in Three Simple Steps. There it is. Okay, so uh, what is this all about? What are the three simple steps? Well, you got to come to the workshop to hear all that, but I'll give you a little sneak preview. Actually, this class or this workshop is one hour on the 18th. You can. For those of you listening today, you can use the promo code free. It costs you nothing. Please sign up. It's an amazing class on connection and community building and how the foundation of marketing your business and really, really making amazing things happen with your business are connecting with others and building community. So your three simple steps are within that. And it's going to just blow your mind. Some of it. You're gonna think, yeah, 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 I've, I've heard that before, but you know what? The main thing that I find with people connecting is they think they know things, but they're not really putting those things into action. This class will encourage you, inspire you, and direct you how to make things happen. I was able to do amazing things and actually transform my business in a year's time from nothing to replacing the income I had previously because of what I was able to do uh, through connection. Let's see here, we have a few more people tuning in. Here we go, this is some information on my uh, workshop coming up. And okay, the comments are still rolling in as we are, you know, I we're gonna have to figure this out if it doesn't work out today. Because Lee is, is a great, amazing person. And you guys all need to meet her. And I don't know, you know, technology is crazy. Sometimes, for some reason, StreamYard is not allowing her to jump in this morning. Uh, I'm going to take one more look here. We're live. It's good. You know what? This is what happens. This is re reality. Reality of life. Um, so anyway, who knows? Sometimes internet connections. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes internet connections will do it. Uh, so, so I'm typing her a quick note. So yeah, anyway, let's see. She's here in spirit and she's here typing to me. <laughs> oh, thank you. You know, Alex took uh, uh, advantage of one or two of my workshops and um, she is an amazing person, highly educated. Dr. Alex, congratulations, Dr. Alex. and. Um, Yes. And Dr. Noopy. Oh, my goodness. I have doctors in the house. You know, I, I'm humbled. I'm humbled that I have so many amazing people that are willing to join in and be part of this because it really does mean so much to me. This is what it's all about. You see people right here networking and connecting in the comments. Let me tell you, this is so valuable. Just the time being able to connect with people. I watch people schedule meetings and do things in the comments. And I love it. I love that you guys are, I'm able to connect with you and we're able to have a great discussion, but at the same time, you're able to connect to other people as we're going. This is one of the, this is one of the uh, just amazing things about live streaming. I um, want to tell you too, speaking of live streaming, because Charlene is here uh, and she is part of our mastermind. If you are not in a mastermind and you have time at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time on Wednesdays, every Wednesday, we are doing a, uh, a mastermind around live streaming, building community, sharing, growing, um, helping each other out as we go. It is an amazing thing and you need to be part of it, okay? So if you're not, go to RussHedge.com and find out how to become part of it. I'm going to put that up there for you, RussHedge.com. And you can find out all about me. By the way, as I talk about connection, you know, my goal for this year is to connect with at least a thousand new people. I want you to be one of them. 
I want you to be a world changer. I want you to be a difference maker. I want to inspire and encourage you. So I want to connect with you. So go to my calendar at russhedge.com and schedule time with me. In fact, you can go directly to russhedge.com slash contact, which will appear as a clickable link in the comments as I am saying it. And you can click directly on that. Don't even have to type anything and go right to it and schedule time on my calendar. Let us meet up like I did with Liliana this morning in Bulgaria. It was amazing. She's an amazing person. So get to meet people all over the world. And guess what? Lee is making it in. I can see her. Woo! There she is. I knew it was going to happen. You know, I just say have faith and amazing things can happen. Let's get this party started. Make sure that we are all good to go since I've been jumping around. There we go. Here she comes. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> So I don't know what was happening. I don't I don't understand because everything was okay. I was checking the computer. Oh my god, but I'm here. Thank you so much. Oh my god. So so happy. And you yes, know what? So do I. Hey, listen, perseverance, right? And this is all about what we're talking about. You know, the wonderful thing about live streaming, this is real life. This is what happens. Good things, bad things, challenges happen, and we just persevere. Like Lynn yes. did, she did this morning. And so, okay, now my my beautiful wife was trying to make sure that I pronounced your name correctly because being, <laughs> you know, being an American, I want to say Ligia with a G uh, sound. With a but G the G sound. is actually an H sound. It should be Ligia, right? With Yes, with Ha, with Ha, because it is not pronounced with G. Yes, yes. So it's Ligia, Ligia. Okay, Ligia. Hernandez. I got it. I got it. Well, you should, you should, uh, I should know this because the area we live in in Oregon is uh, got a ton of wonderful, blessed Hispanic uh, friends that are all around us. And so my wife's school is actually probably 80% Hispanic. And so she's really good. And my kids grew up, their best friends uh, were from Mexico or other places, Hispanic and great, great families and people. I, it was really a blessing that we had such a kind of a multi-cultural uh, area for them to grow up in, which was great. So anyway, needless to say, I do my best oh, to pronounce my things correctly. Yes, <laughs> yes. Thank, thank you so much for worrying for that, about that. But you don't have to worry. Many people oh. pronounce it in different ways. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, you know what? I'm so excited you made it here this morning. My super great, wonderful friend, sister in the Lord, and, and my assistant uh, teammate ever is here saying woohoo because she's in the background running the running part of the oh, show. And so she's wonderful. like, we did it. Yes. Oh, yes, we did it. <laughs> oh, yes. I, I was Felicity. worried about I I was sure that we were, we were going to make it. I was really sure about that. You know what? I knew. I kept telling everybody it's going to happen. I, I know this is going to happen. People are glad you made it. it. The the good vibes are coming in. The good comments are coming in. So listen, we're going to get started with you because this is all about you. I'm going to Thank have you. you give everybody a snapshot on you and what exactly you're up to these days. Give us a little snapshot of Lihia. Oh, oh, there are so many things that I would like to say. Uh, as you know, uh, okay, I'm an English teacher and, and also um, teach martial arts. Uh, this is something that is uh, really, uh, I mean, I don't talk a lot about that, but many people is now saying, wow, you are black belt. So many people is, I mean, many people are realizing <laughs> because you wrote it in the post. So that was amazing for me because it was maybe part, a hard part of my life, but it was one of the most thing, uh, beautiful things in my life. I mean, I feel so proud of, of um, getting that black belt, not because of the, of the belt, but because of, of all the experiences that I had during those times. So, okay, um, what, can, one, what else can I say? I'm a strong supporter of mental health. Of course, uh, in especially in the case of children, um, I'm working with my friend um, with Mission Tansap, and we are trying to spread awareness about the importance of mental health. As I said before, in my case, in the case of children, because most people don't think about them, 
don't they don't uh, take into account that we have to work with them to prevent. And I am part of, uh, of course, this is not in my profile, but I am part of Education Influence. Education Influence uh, is a new organization uh, kind of company. They try to gather teachers from all over the world so that they, um, these, these teachers, uh, like in my case, we want to engage in this uh, company because we want to transform education. So what we do is that uh, we plan like Zoom meetings and some other things, and we share uh, like the techniques we use in our classrooms. And our main purpose is that transform education and leave a legacy for the upcoming teachers. Because uh, we all know education needs a transformation. We cannot keep it stuck there, working in the same way. So it is amazing. Just imagine last year, there was a Zoom meeting and uh, there were like more than 100 teachers in the same meeting from all over the world. And we were talking about how to work in the classroom, how we can interact with the students uh, um, among the teachers and with the parents, because it's really important. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, let me say, my beautiful wife is in education. She's a librarian. And so she teaches kids every day. And uh, what, what a blessing uh, that she gets the opportunity to do that uh, and be with, with them. But, you know, it's interesting because you know, this show is all about how amazing people connect. Mm -hmm. And um, you are an amazing person, by the way. But, you Thank know, when you you're so connecting much. to young people, to other teachers, to all the stuff you're doing, um, it is just an amazing thing and it starts at a young age, right? So we want yes. to throw in a big hashtag 1000 thanks to you and to all the teachers and people in education. Um, and talking about things like mental health and all that are vital to what's going on today, um, because that's mm -hmm. an issue. It's a topic that people don't really talk about a lot. So talk about that a little bit more, what you're doing in that area. Um, in the case of mental health, uh, as I said before, uh, we are trying to spread awareness. So I'm talking about different, when I post, I try to spread uh, the message about what things can we do to help children. I was saying before um, I told a friend that it is it is funny because uh, someone said to me one day, what are you posting about mental health in children? What are you posting about children's topics? Because children are not in LinkedIn. So <laughs> what is the point of, 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 you know, posting those topics there? So, I mean, uh, we, we have to use our common sense. So I said to this person, I am posting because we adults are the ones who are in charge of the children. We are in charge of preventing, pro not the problems, but giving them the tools to face the problems. Because we all know that, of course, children are going to face challenges and different kind of adversities. But we have to, ch I always think that we have to teach children that our willpower should be stronger than adversity. So, uh, I think that uh, this case, this, this kind of uh, post that I like to, to make them linking, they are talking, for example, like about mindfulness. Uh, they are talking about some things that we feel that children are worried about, even the things that children talk to me in the classroom, that they, they tell me about they are worried about the pandemic or they are worried uh, about something that happened with the parents. So I use the, those experiences and also my experience from my childhood to help children. Because, um, I mean, we all have experiences in our childhood. So I think those hard experiences that I had, I try to use them to help children. They need support. They need to be listened. They be, need to be listened. That is one idea that I always try to spread. Children need to be listened. I, I, I think your wife will understand me very well. Because when we are with them, we feel what they really, really need. And that is really important. Yeah. 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 No, I completely agree with that. I think my wife would completely agree with you. And, uh, you know, what? I, what's amazing, now, now just think about this, Lahia. 
now you have another story to talk to your kids about perseverance. You, you can just tell them, you know, this good friend of mine, Russ over in Oregon. So we were trying to do a show and I had to persevere to get onto the show, <laughs> but I stuck with <laughs> it. I kept going. And before you know it, here I was. So yes, I am. Uh, you know, I think you are a, you're definitely a really great example of doing amazing things. And I think, these topics that not everybody wants to talk about, like mental health, are uh -huh. important because it's important to let them know that life happens and sometimes there's challenges in life and sometimes it is around mental health and people have to know that there's others that are willing to listen and help them. So tell me, so your group of teachers that you get together and lift each other up and help each other out, that's amazing to me too. Tell me a little bit more about that. Uh, uh, first of all, I would like to say something. I have a kind of oh, uh, different. I have a kind of different perspective, and uh, for example, people who made these kind of groups about education influence, they uh, they try to explain that if education influence is not the kind of influence what we are used to, because we are when we listen the word influence, so we talk about being famous or getting a lot of. Uh, you know, people who is following you or that stuff. Okay, so when uh, the, 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 I mean, the concept that I have about influence and the one that they are trying to spread, <clears throat> sorry, is the one that if you are an in education influence teacher, you are trying, trying to make a, a great impact on education. You are trying to make a real impact on children's life on a student's life because also we, of course, we we had to work with teenagers. So this group, mainly what they want to do is to influence other teachers to get into the group and then also influence the classrooms with the different techniques or all the approaches that we are trying to, you know, to spread to other teachers. So this education influence is, is really important. When we get into the group, the person who founded the group, he said, remember, education influence is not for you are going to be, to be a famous teacher or something like that. No, you are going to make a real difference and a real impact on education around the world, across the world. So that is right. the main that is the main point. And, and I wanted to to clarify this because most people have a different kind of concept about uh, what is influence or what is being an influencer. Um, so, that, so that is the main point. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to say, well, it's beautiful what you're doing because you're building community, right? You're building community and influencing each other in a positive way. And you're helping and supporting each other. I think that is amazing. I think that's amazing. And we need more of that. And I think that's one beautiful thing about the online because you said there's people in that from all over the world in that group is that correct yes all over the world yes for it is it is amazing the, the i mean the quantity and the different kind of backgrounds that it, it each teacher has you see it is really really incredible and i really yeah. like it because also we share with them we share with, about our real experiences about what we want to help to other children it is really, really, uh, it is really amazing. I really love to, to be in that group. And they, they work, you know, they also work with the Montessori approach. The Montessori approach tries to teach others that we have to teach ch children to be more independent. In that way, we, we teach them. We, of course, we include parents and other teachers and other students where we, but we, what we want is that they really work in the classroom, that they really build their own knowledge. So it is, I mean, I really like it. I really like it. And also the human connection that you have, uh, talking about connections, the human connection that you have with children is amazing because it's different. I mean, right. there is respect, there is respect. There are, you know, boundaries because I have boundaries with my students, but you also have a kind of different relationship with them i mean they, they know and they also we're friends we talk about everything that is happening and around us and they sometimes they come to me 
and they maybe they think that uh, uh, I, I am not a psychologist, <laughs> but I'm trying to help them with my heart and trying to help them uh, with everything I know. And because also I am a mother, so sometimes we have more experience on those on those fields, right? You know, like yes. three, three years ago, I got a gift from one of my older students because most students start with me from first grade. And then, you know, it is amazing that I finished like in sixth grade or maybe going to high school and there is, they are still with me and they come to me and they call me and they come to my home. And it is, it is wonderful because uh, I got a gift from one of them and, and the gift have a sign who said, thank you for teaching with your heart. And, you know, I don't forget that. I don't forget that. In the past, I was really criticized because I am a very sensitive or uh, I, I, don't, I don't mind if I am vulnerable or not. I really like to be like that. So I was really criticized because I was in that way. So I, I mean, if you work in education, you should, be, you, you should be like that. You should use your heart. Because we are working with humans, we are not working with machines. So sometimes people forget right. that. Some people forget the children's needs, teenagers' needs. And of course, our mental health is important. But if we work with children, and that's what I think, if we work with them, we are going to have a healthier and happier children or adults in the future. So that, that is what I think. Well, I could not applaud you more. That's total mic drop, says Osama <laughs> would say. Thank all you. The time. We are, those, Thank that you. is such great. So listen, we are going to get cut short today because I've already let the show run over time because I'm having such a great time talking. We had so many problems getting started, but what I'm going to do as soon as you and I get off, uh, I'm going to have you wait in the green room for me, and we're going to schedule a part two. Yes, Emily's out there. Emily, yes, it's a part two. Uh, <laughs> she's always <laughs> laughing at me. Hmm. Wonderful, great people like you, Lahia. I'm, I'm actually always doing uh, multiple parts. So we're going to do this again. Thank you. Next time, we'll make sure that you and I are on super early to make sure all is good to go. And, oh, uh, yes. <laughs> no, I, I am telling you, I am telling you, I, uh, I'm just so thankful. I'm really thankful to uh, have you as a friend in my life, to have you on this show, and just to be the amazing person that you are. And in education, I could not applaud you more. I could not tell you how much I appreciate you, all the educators. I tell my wife, my beautiful wife, I tell this every day, how amazing she is with the kids and all that she does. Um, so thank you for that. Uh, what I want you to do before you go, though, is tell everybody, Last words, what do you want everybody to remember today? And then how do they get in touch with you? Because people are definitely going to want to get in touch with you. Thank you so much, Ross. And I, I can thank enough for letting me be here and spread these messages. As I told you before, I have so many messages to, to tell people. Uh, uh, most of the time, I'm here in LinkedIn. So it is the best way to connect with me. And I also would like to ask people to follow Mission Thumbs Up because, we, as I said before, we are spreading um, our awareness regarding mental health. So I, I would like to say people remember uh, how important is mental health, not only for us, but also with children. And, and I hope yeah. in, in, in our part two, we can talk about some other things because um, I'm really grateful since I, am, I have been here, I have discovered so many skills that we can use to help others. So what I, I, I am here most, mostly, Ross, because I am really um, not only grateful with all this group of friends that I have now, but also because I want to spread uh, different kinds, as I said, of messages to people. Because this is what uh, this platform is about connecting or making meaningful connections with others. Oh my goodness. Wow. I mean, you are an amazing example of the people I love, the friends that I love to have on the show. Lydia, you're, you're Thank you so awesome. Much. Thank you so much. And Thank you for letting me be here. We may have to have a part two 
two, three, and four. <laughs> oh, <woo. laughs> yes, we might have to have a part two, three, or four because so our we have a little teeny lag on our connection, but you know what? We made it, we persevered, we made it. and I'm going to send you to the green room and say goodbye, but don't go anywhere, and I'll see you in just a minute, okay? Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thanks, Leah. Let's we'll talk to you soon. All right. Well, listen, this is a perfect example today. I arrive at the office I'm at. There's no internet connection. The internet's down. I have to use my phone as a hotspot even to get on. Lydia's connection is giving her fits. There's all kinds of other things going on in the scenes behind me <laughs> that we won't get into. But we persevered. We got through. We had an amazing show with Lydia. She is doing great things. And yes, there will be at least a part two, if not three and four, uh, coming up. I really value your time, and I try to keep this within the constraints of our standard time on the broadcast. So we will have more, though, more coming up. I just want to tell you that her uh, LinkedIn has been scrolling across the bottom. It's also in all the show notes. Uh, it's also in the comments. So you can click on that. You can get in touch with her without a problem. So I wanted to remind you, please do that. She is amazing. She's doing great things, has great information. She can impart to you. So get in contact with Lahia today. And I am going to wrap things up for today while we still have connection and all is good. So I just want to thank everybody for being here today. Listen, remember, I'm here every Monday and Thursday, 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time on Market with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie. Hope to see you next Monday where we'll have another amazing person who connects. Until then, talk to you later. Have a great day and a great life. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie. Be sure to subscribe in your favorite podcast app so that you don't miss a single episode. Have an amazing day.